Hey golfers, in this next video I'll be talking about the Hideki Matsuyama swing pause. Keep watching. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So this video is about Hideki Matsuyama swing pause and a big congrats to Hideki who won the Masters this week. I wanted to go through a couple of keys of his golf swing that I know can really help you out and play better golf and I'll have a few videos playing through this so you can look at what he does and how you can incorporate that into your game and by the end of it you're going to be able to know how to move your body just like Hideki does and play much better golf. So. He does a pause, a very distinct pause. It's obviously made a lot of media this week at the top of his backswing. But the important thing to know is that pause, it's actually very, very small. And he still keeps his whole body moving during the golf swing. So what he does is he gets to the top, there's a tiny little pause before he goes through, through the downswing. But that pause, it's so minute and as I said, his whole body keeps moving. So when he goes to the top, you can see this in slow motion. Before he finishes that backswing, his lower body is actually already transitioning, putting pressure into this lead foot and rotating and getting into a really good position. That way he can just fire on the downswing with a stack of speed and power. So from this angle, He'll get to the top, he'll wait there, but before he even finishes that backswing, which is something I've spoken about before, the downswing's already started. He already initiates that downswing and comes through to impact. Most golfers, and you might be able to relate to this, really rush the downswing. And I'm gonna show you how you can practice a similar move to help you out with your game, because I don't recommend swinging the way he does with the pause, it will be a, a big challenge for you. But I do recommend practicing that way, getting to the top, holding it, getting that lower body in position, and then firing through. They're often called freezer drills, and it's just about pausing at the top, getting the lower body to move first, and then firing through. And that's what Hideki does so well. So from this angle, when, or, when you get to the top, you might be guilty of this. A lot of golfers will fire that upper body way too quick in the downswing. And by having a pause or practicing a pause drill can stop you from really rushing that downswing and getting it out of sequence. So what I want you to do is get to the top Hold that position here, and this is just for your practice. Then really feel like you're rotating that lower pelvis area and getting pressure into that lead foot. This angle will show it a bit better. So get to the top, just pause, and then start rotating. Starting to rotate this lead hip and getting it out of the way on the downswing and through to impact and through. This is the same for your driver as well as your irons. Doing a pause or a freezer drill is really great for getting your sequencing right, which is something Hideki does so well. This will work for your irons as well as your driver. So get to the top, pause, get the lower body moving first, leave the hands and arms alone. You're basically getting stacked over this getting pressure into this lead side. You're getting in this nice sort of squat position and through. I'll show you from this angle because I want to point out something really clear that Hideki does so well. As he gets to the top, with that little pause, as his lower body's moving, he gets in this squat position that's been made so famous by past players like Tiger, Sam Snead gets into this squat position and he's getting everything out of the ground. He's using the ground for power. And then from here, he's just able to rotate and really drive through to the golf ball. That is a really great way to practice. It is challenging to do. By all means, put your ball on a tee if it makes it easier. 
The next time you go to the practice range, pause at the top, get that lower body rotating, and then fire. That's a great way to practice to really help you improve your sequencing in your downswing, adding that little pause or that little freeze move in your practice swings, and you'll become a lot more consistent. Now coming up, I've got a video that talks about rotating through impact, goes into a little bit more detail. Make sure you watch it, it's coming up. Do you wanna know how to make an even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how to rotate through impact, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great golf swing. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know or we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.